Don't just stay there. Get that thing open. Thank you. 
We barely got out of there alive. It was like they knew we were trying to get away. I was relieved, but Otis wasn't doing so good. I could tell they had got to him. He looked at me and took a deep breath and asked for one last favor. It made me sick to my stomach, but I had to do it before he turned into one of them, a living dead. I'm bleeding. They got to me. It took a while, but I finally made it to the city of the living. People from the city were trying to get supplies across the river, but the drawbridge wasn't working. They asked me for help, and I just couldn't say no. The truck was full of supplies, but that meant squat if we couldn't get into the city. The power to the bridge was out. If I could get the generator started, we might just stand a chance.
The men at the gate took me to meet an important man named Mr. Kaufman. Mr. Kaufman was mighty impressed with how I helped out at the bridge. He was so impressed that he offered me a job on the spot. You see, there was this big, tall skyscraper called Fiddler's Green, filled with fancy rich people apartments. He wanted to fix it up again, but those flesh eaters had infested it. He said the cleanup was almost done, only a few pockets of the things were left. It sounded dangerous, but he'd give me a nice place to live and lots of money to do it. Besides, Mr. Kaufman said that by doing this, I'd be helping out a lot of people. Good people, just like me. Mm-hmm. 